In this tip of the day, let's take a look at engraving text using one CNC. Now in this example, you can see we have a fixture plate, and what I'd like to do is engrave some text on this just for identification. All right, so to begin with, I'm gonna hit the space bar twice to quickly go to a top view. Now, whenever I perform engraving, I like to have my text on a separate layer. So let's take our cursor, head down to the lower right-hand corner, make sure that we have our layer browser activated, just right-hand mouse click and select add a layer. Our new layer is called layer one. I wanna rename that, so I'm gonna double click on that, and I'm just gonna type in the word text. You can name it anything that you'd like, but for this demonstration, we'll just call it text. So as long as this layer is activated, any new geometry that gets created will be placed on that layer. Very simple. So let's head back over to the command manager. Let's select our text option and then the create text option. There we go. And then in the upper left hand corner, you can see this is where we can enter text. Now I already have text typed in here, fixture plate number 26, two dowel pins, 0.25 diameter, and four cap screws at 0.75 diameter. Notice on the right, you have your justification or your alignment, and you can change that to whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go with left on that. We're gonna click font attributes. Now for the actual font style, I'm gonna use true type fonts, and what I wanna use is Arial. So I'm gonna scroll up here to the top, find our Arial font, which is right there. That looks good. And for the height of the font, I'm going to type in 0.18. That looks very good. So I'm going to click OK to that. Click OK again. And now we have the text attached to our cursor. So we can place this anywhere that we'd like. I'm just going to left click right there. I think that looks like a great location. All right. And because our text layer was activated, our text was placed on that layer. Very, very nice. All right. And you're going to see the importance of why we're doing that in just a second. Now the next thing we want to take a look at is that within one CNC we can't apply toolpath to text. However, we can convert the text to geometry very easily. Let's head back over to the command manager, select text to geometry, take your cursor, left hand mouse click, and that's all there is to it. All right, so now it's time to machine the text. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let's turn the other layer off. That looks great, and now let's apply the toolpath. So back over to the command manager, we're going to go into our stock toolpaths. And we're going to use this option called Engrave All 2D. What's nice about this is this is going to engrave everything it can see on the screen here. So Engrave All 2D. That looks good. And the tool that I'm going to use is simply just going to be a 3 8 diameter center drill. Our speeds and feeds look fine, so let's click Next on that. For the actual Z depth, I'm just going to go minus 3 thousandths. I think that looks good. We'll click Next. I don't need to machine this at multiple depths of cut, so I have this selected to None. We'll click Finish. And there we go, there's the toolpath. Now if we want to, we can bring back our original solid models defining our tooling plate. And why don't we take this into simulator and see what it looks like. So let's take our cursor over into the NC manager, right hand mouse click on the toolpath group and select simulate rest. All right, now I'm gonna use a solid model I created a little bit earlier for our stock. So we're gonna click okay to that and here we go. All right, let's zoom in on this just a little bit. And there you go, there is the text engraved at minus three thousandths on our fixture plate. Very easy to do and a very powerful command provided by 1CNC. Thank you so much for taking a look at this tip of the day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.